Dear Ms. Blackwell, I just wanted to reach out again. I am aware that this is a difficult subject, but if we are to prevent your aunt and grandmother's condition to resurface in you, we must take the proper steps. Please contact me and we can schedule an appointment. Dr. Quinton. Officer Palmer? Yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? If I gave you a parole case number, could you look up who it belongs to? I can't, no. Sorry. Eh, it was worth a try. Thanks anyway. Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Hey, Peter? Hey, man. So who's that lady living in your apartment? Girlfriend, maybe? For the record, I am currently single and happy about it. And I think I'd notice if there was a random woman living in my apartment. Sorry, must have been the wrong place. Say, can we re- Sure, we can do that. I've got a slot for you next thir- Sure. It's great, see ya. Looking good, Elizabeth. You're really improving. Hmm. A calendar with a- Bingo. House. The case number is listed in this file. It belongs to a Maggie Fielding. It appears she was picked up in the raid on the Carth House. She was brought in for an emergency detox and forced to go into rehab. It lists one known family member, a brother, Peter Fielding. Hey, Peter? Hey, man. So, did you know your sister is staying in your apartment? She is. <sighs> of course she is. She probably fell off the wagon again. Just stay out of the way. Do you know anyone- Sir. Can you tell me any- It's been... a while. Well. You got it. Ugh, coming. You again? What is it? You're Peter's sister. Maggie, right? Sure. Fine. You got me. Why couldn't you just tell me that before? Because I'm trying to get healthy, working through the program, admitting I have a problem. Just like my sponsor says. All that is the first step. I'm still working on the rest. Talking about Peter? That's step five. I'm not ready. It's nothing personal. I just need to avoid thinking about him for a while. And you're doing that by living in his apartment. It's just temporary. I have nowhere else to go. And besides, what difference does it make? He's gone. He had a stupid accident, and now he's gone. 
That's just it, Maggie. It might not have been an accident. No. Whatever you're thinking, no. I need this to be over, you understand? Then we need to talk. You can call your sponsor if you want to. <sighs> Screw my sponsor. Let's do this. So, talk. What do you know about Peter's death? Just what I was told. That he was fixing a light bulb and fell off the ladder. I remember thinking it was a pretty stupid way to go, especially for him. How do you mean? Did you know the guy? He was obsessed with health. To die just falling off a ladder? I always thought he'd outlive the world. Why is Peter such a sore subject with you? That's between me and him. Or his ghost. Or whatever. It might help to talk about it. I'm still working through the program. Talking about it is step number five. I'm not ready for it yet. Could you tell me about your father? He opened the gym, right? Sure. Could you tell me anything else about him? If you want to know about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. Here's his address. He's always home. Can't you tell me anything about your father? I told you. Ask him yourself. So, what are you watching? I don't know. Some animated thing. Not normally into cartoons, but the ratings say it's good. Is it? I guess. They changed the main character's voice after the first episode, but it's not bad. It keeps my mind off, well, the stuff you keep bringing up. Are you talking about Adventure Time or something? Um, could you excuse me for just a sec? My shoe is untied. Sure, I guess. Thanks. Smooth. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Grace Group? What, those circle jerk meetings my brother went to? You know about it. Yeah, I know about it. Peter was a mess before he joined that group. If you ask him, he would say it helped him find himself. Did it? Who knows? I thought it was a cult. Might have been better if it was. Why is that? Look, never mind. Peter found himself. Good for him. I just have to focus on myself. Do you know a Father Michael Cooper? Look, I don't need a priest. I don't need to be saved. I just need to get healthy. I'm not asking you to see him. I'm asking if you know him. Oh. No, I don't know him. Do you know Tanya Corsi? Well, I know she's on TV. Or was. Didn't she die? Yes. She was a member of your brother's gym. Really? You'd think she'd be working out in some fancy spa. Not my brother's crappy place. Wait, are you saying there's a connection? No, I'm just looking into it. Huh. Pete and Tanya Corsi. Now there's an image. Have you ever heard the name Benjiro? Benjiro? No. Sounds Japanese or something. How long was Peter working at the gym? Uh, about 20 years. Never thought he'd do it. Why? Don't know. He seemed to drift around for a long time. He was a teacher, waiter, construction worker, you name it. Then one day, he decides that taking over Dad's gym is what he has to do. Now the gym is a neighborhood staple. Made it more popular than Dad ever did. Good for him, I guess. Do you know a woman named Heather Goffstein? Nope, never heard of her. Do you know a Jim Peebles? He's a producer for The Good Morning Show. I've watched the show, never heard of the guy. Do you know anyone named Ray? I'm sure I might, but I can't think of anyone. Tell me about yourself. Uh-uh. Opening up is step number five. I am nowhere near ready yet. Well, I'd better get going. Sure, you know the way. Wait, this is Greenwood Cemetery. It's a little structure overlooking the lake. This tombstone is faded and hard to read. That's a Lutheran symbol. There are a lot of family crypts in this cemetery, some going back a hundred years. This cemetery has dozens of tombs. I don't have time to search them all. I talk with the dead, not their graves. The exit isn't far. If I really need to get out of the snow, I'll just leave. 
quaint little thing, I guess. It's too chipped and faded to read. I prefer not to. Some family's crypt. Officer Dad. Do you have any information on a Maggie Fielding? Let me check. Maggie Fielding. Yeah, she was picked up in a raid not too long ago. A raid? A drug den in Chelsea. Some dump called the Carth House. I know it. Huh. Of course you do. Anything else? Just that she and about a dozen others were sent to the hospital for a detox. They were processed and let go. That's it? That's it. Is there anything in the system about a Connor Fielding? He died about 20 years ago. Let's see. Our records from back then are a bit spotty, but it can't hurt to check. No, nothing comes up, but it's a very common name. Is there anything specific you can tell me about him? He was in the Army. Oh. Then there might be something in the Veterans Association records. Aren't those public? Not everything. But fortunately for you, I can access everything. Okay. Archived records. Connor Fielding. Ah, oh, seriously? What's wrong? Idiots. They had no idea how to archive data back then. I can only look them up by service number. You don't know it, do you? I don't. Sorry. Well, once you know it, let me know. Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Coming. Oh, sure. Come on in. So your father is dead? Yep. Why didn't you just say that instead of sending me to the cemetery? The only person to visit Dad was Peter. And he can't do that anymore. I figured Dad could use the company. Really? No, not really. I told you. There are things I can't talk about yet. You said Peter visited the cemetery. Once a year, on the anniversary of Dad's death, Peter was a damn saint. Can you tell me about your father? He died over 20 years ago. I don't see how it's relevant to Pete. Well, I'd better get going. Sure, you know the way. There we go. Nobody can say I don't do anything nice. Nice. He's good looking for a dead guy. Her name is Tanya Corsi. She's the ghost we saw in George's roof. It's just a number on the calendar. The marker is attached to the board. It looks like they use it to mark the date on this calendar. Did I say the fifth? What is it? <laughs> he comes like a dog. that number in our notes now? Ugh, do I seriously have to write it down? I shouldn't stare. 
not in public anyway. She looks pretty busy. That treadmill looks like it's on its last legs. No way I'm getting on it. Just watching it makes me feel tired. I don't need to use the locker room. I'm not here to work out. God, no. <laughs> She's just standing there, dripping water on the floor. Hey, Peter? Hey, man. I heard about- It was over 20 years ago. We all have to move on. That's my plan, Peter. Say, can- Sure, we can- Hey, miss, you're dripping water on the floor. Oh, um, sorry. No problem, just be sure to put on sneakers or something. Want to work out here. Anyway, let's check the schedule. Monday at 3 p.m. is free. Does that work? Sure, sounds good. Great, see you then. Form looks great, Lisbeth. Just don't drag your feet. Hey, Peter? Hey, man. Say, sure, we can. Seriously, miss, you can't work out wearing that. Oh, I'm not here to work out. I'm just looking around. Huh. Just be careful. I don't want that coat getting caught on any of the machines. Anyway, let's check the schedule. Huh? Is that the date? Hey, listen, I'm sorry, but there's an appointment I've got to keep. Can we sort this out another day? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Officer Palmer? Yeah, yeah. I found Connor's service number. It's 070-234-541. That should be all I need. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Connor Fielding. Served in Vietnam from 1966 till 1969. Honorably discharged. Moved with his family to New York a few years later. Huh. That's interesting. What? It says here that the police were called to his apartment several times. Reports of raised voices possible domestic abuse. No charges were pressed, which is why it wasn't in our police records. But it's in the military database? Or it gets around. Someone must have noted it in his VA file. Doesn't say much else. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'd better go- Sure. Sure, come on in. I learned a bit about your father. You did? The police were called several times to his house. No charges were made. It's not hard to read between the lines. Huh. Well, I suppose you know everything now. I don't. But I'm trying to. Why? Why do you care so much? What does my father beating the crap out of my mother have to do with how Peter died? There's something bigger going on. That doesn't matter. 
I can't take on anybody else's problems. I'm barely dealing with my own. I've been trying to forget this crap my whole life, and now I have a chance. I'm not going back to that. I'm sorry. I know you think you have good reasons, but I really need to be alone right now. Listen. Please. Leave. Okay. <sighs> you have such a way with people. Are you still here? Just leaving. Where are you going? To visit my precious father. Not that it's any of your business. My neighbors are kind of twitchy. You'd better get out of here before someone calls the cops. He's definitely lost in thought. She seems less angry than she was before, but not by much. Maggie. Huh? Huh. I had a feeling you'd follow me here. I didn't follow you. You got here after I did. You're not gonna leave me alone, are you? You know I try and help you whenever I can. Not until I spill everything. I've never pressured you to talk to me, Maggie. Oh, God knows, maybe I should have. I'm sorry, but it's important. Maybe it's because I'm out of that stuffy apartment. Maybe it's because when I'm here, I know he's really gone. I know. I miss him too. Talking about it. The fifth step. My sponsor said I didn't have to do them in order. Many people don't. I guess now is as good a time as any. I'd like that, Maggie. I really would. So, talk. Tell me about your father. It's not about him. Not really. It's all wrapped up with Peter. It's always Peter. What are you talking about? What did Peter do? Nothing. Everything. Maggie, what are you talking about? <sighs> he took over my dad's gym. Made it successful. I hated him for it. Wait, what? Don't you remember how miserable I was? Drifting from job to job, hating all of them. Running Dad's gym was something I was good at. I thought you'd be happy for me. Didn't Peter have lots of jobs he hated before he started working at the gym? Couldn't you be happy for him? Happy? Happy that he took my father's name and made it revered? I don't see the problem here. The people in the neighborhood love that gym. They come by and say what a nice old man Connor Fielding was. And what a shame he died. And how nice that his son took up his legacy. Legacy. A legacy of bruises and hiding in the dark. Bruises? What are you talking about? You always believed her when she said she was clumsy. It was like some horrible after-school special. Maggie, you are not saying what I think you're saying. You never knew, did you, Peter? So wrapped up in yourself. You never saw what he was doing. Why didn't you ever tell me? Mom hid it from both of us, and I was too scared to say anything. In the end, it was just easier to say nothing and hate you. And now it's too late. For what it's worth, I don't hate you anymore, Peter. But I need to get on with my life. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye? What do you mean, goodbye? Um, sorry, I should go. Maggie, wait! Maggie! I never knew! I swear! I never knew! I just don't understand. I... Huh? My God. I'm sorry, Peter. I remember. The ladder. It broke. Oh, man. I don't feel so good. Right. We don't have a lot of time. Peter, I need you to grab a hold of this. What the heck is that thing? No time. Just grab. Well, that was close. Did it work? Let's get back and find out. Hey, look who's here. Pete's safe and sound. Safe as a dead guy can be, anyway. Sorry. I know this is not exactly the reunion we expected after all this time. But you have no idea. I thought you were... Well, I explained that already. So, Madeline, you got your spook. What have you learned? It is interesting. 
This spirit is experiencing what would be considered nausea in a living person. It figures. I've never had a stomach virus in my life until I died. He is being pulled. There is the signature of another spirit at work. A signature? Yes, I can see it. It is faint, but I can see it. Only the power of this circle is stopping it from gaining a foothold. Unfortunately, it is too faint for me to see anything useful. And we dare not lower the circle. I need to examine another soul. One that is marked like this one. And by another soul, you mean Heather, don't you? Heather? Is she involved in this? We all are, Pete. We all are. This is all too much. First my sister, and now... It won't be much longer. One way or the other, we'll finish this. Okay. Madeline? Yes? I guess... Of course. Father might... Yeah? I guess... God's... He's definitely lost in thought. Peter? Oh, hi. Rosangela, was it? Yeah, that's me. Mike's been telling me about you. So, you've been doing this a while, huh? For about four years. These days, it's pretty much all we do. I don't envy you, but I'm glad. Do you think Maggie will be okay? I hope so. I had no idea it was causing her so much pain. She's my sister. She's family. Maybe that blinded me to the truth. Maybe, with me gone, she can start to get better. Don't worry, Peter. We're getting to the bottom of this. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. Hey, Maddie? <sighs> yes, Malone. So, you and Michael seem to be getting along Zoe. better? Indeed. He has proven to be quite eager to pursue the duty. That is, assuming he survives this ordeal. We're working on it, Maddie. We're working on it. God damn it, hold on. So, what's your plan for after this is all done? You just came you in, and now you want to go back city, out again. I suppose. There is no need for two bestowers here. Or perhaps your host can be persuaded to relocate. What do you think, Red? You want to leave New York? Maybe go to Europe? My apartment is rent control, Joey. What do you think? There you go. Do you really think we can stop whatever this is? I do hope so. For my host's sake, at the very least. Rent control? What does that mean? You don't pay your rent, everything shuts down? So we never really talked about the Countess. I am aware. I have purposely avoided the subject. Why is that? She banished me alone. Left me alone in an infinite void of nothing. I may have forgiven her. I may even understand her motives. But I cannot bear to think of her. Not yet. Please don't ask about her again. So you don't know anything? I'm afraid not. Right. We're gonna- Of course. Hey, Michael? Yeah. Is there anything- I... We're gonna- God. Zoe, you just know. You holding up okay, Peter? It's funny. I keep thinking I should do some sit-ups or something. But I guess that won't do any good. I'm afraid it's too late for that. I thought so. I mean, I've been standing here for hours, and I don't feel any muscle cramps or pain in my lower back. Who knew dying could be so good for me? We're gonna get you out of this, don't you worry. Yeah, well, listen. If the worst happens, could you check in on Maggie? Just once in a while, make sure she's still on the wagon. We'll do our best. Thank you. You holding up okay? Holding up? Yes, baby. 
I see you. Yes, baby. Zoe. How odd. Denise, could you get that for me? I apparently... No, I can't sneak out the back way with people watching me. Why isn't Tao working? 